Okay. Yeah, in terms of, and also like these cards are really good as well. So twelve fifty there. All right, so we got that one. Another twelve fifty there. We got that one. Twelve fifty there. Got that one. Right then, lads. Today we're going to be looking at a new snipe filter in two K twenty one Mighty. Don't do a lot of snipe filters, uh, personally, but this one does seem to be working for me. So if you guys do go to enjoy this video, smash the like on the video. It does help me out a ton. Now let's just get into the snipe filter, boys. It is involving the new. What reality amethyst? So all these amethyst cards at the moment are around 2,000 MT. Well, 1,000 to 500 to 2,000 MT. So we're gonna take advantage of that. So let's just get into it, boys. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to amethyst. You're gonna swipe across once, which is something I really like. You only have to swipe across once to find the what reality set. Now. You can generally find these for about a thousand, like they go really quickly. Like it's insane how quick some of these go. Like you can go to a thousand five hundred, they're gone. Like so, you're gonna take advantage of that. So if you sell a card for roughly about a thousand seven hundred and fifty, you know that if you sell a card for that, you get about fifteen hundred. So I'm gonna go to fourteen fifty, and basically you're just gonna sit on you and spam that refresh. So in terms of like, you may wanna obviously when this video comes out, just double check the price. Always double check a price before you. Uh, going into a snipe filter and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna sit on you and just Well, just wait for any cards to pop up now because these cards are guaranteed in the new warp reality set It's actually you do find a lot of these cards pop up now Before recording this I found a lot like there was there was a lot now This is this filter is very competitive at the moment because people want these cards for obviously to put them into uh, Eddie Jones, so this is a very competitive snipe filter at the moment, so maybe you want to try it, obviously, when it's not as competitive. But in terms of, like, at the moment, it is a very, very, very competitive just filter. So you, what you want to be doing is just, obviously, keep spamming that refresh. Just hope, just pretty much just wait. Just pretty much just wait for all these cards to pop up. Again, because the filter, because these cards in general are in a guaranteed set, and because you seem to, you're pretty much going to get one of these every single pack, unless you pack, obviously, a diamond or a buff. So you're eventually gonna get some of these cards. Like I, I opened 450k worth. I pulled like 30 of these cards. As you can see, cards everywhere. So you're gonna be trying to pick up all of these. We miss out on that one, which is a little unfortunate. Can we get an Isaac Okoro? We do not, which is a little unfortunate. So I'm gonna go to 1,500 just because anything that pops up for 1,500, I well, I'll probably go down to 1,450. Basically, anything that pops up for 1,450, I know I can sell on and make a little bit of MT. Now, prices at the moment of these cards are fluctuating like crazy. They're going from like 2K to 1,500 to 2.5K. It's weird how much these prices are in flu are just fluctuating because just because because there's so many of these cards being packed, it's kind of insane. Now, obviously, what you can do as well once it strikes the four hour mark for all this content being dropped is then you're gonna look to bid on them so i might make a video on that tomorrow i'm kind of i haven't quite decided yet but you're gonna be bidding on those cards just so again you're just sitting on a filter you, you guys know what snipe it is you're sitting on a filter for a while and then just when cards pop up you hope to be one of the first to snipe them so hopefully we can get something decent obviously the only reason i'm sniping these at the moment is because i need them for uh, eddie jones so of course i can just go buy them but there's no fun in that, is there? So, obviously, I can get a video out of it. And, of course, if I do snipe them, they'll just go into Eddie Jones. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. We're not getting much luck so far, which is a little concerning. It's a little weird. So, maybe if you put it back up to 1,500 or 1,600. Let me just check if they're actually popping up. So, 1,800 there. If you sell a card for 1,800, you get 1,600 back. So, maybe you want to lower that filter. But, again, like, they're back up to 2K. The cards fluctuate in price like crazy. It's absolutely insane. So pretty much what you want to be... God damn, they really are going up in price. God damn, man. You saw, guys, I just, like... And again, the filter is... Uh, the market is still a bit, you know... It's still the market, so the market is still a little bit broken. But essentially, any card that pops up for about 1,700, you can, you're generally going to be in pretty good shape to make MT. Again, I look to sell the cards for about 1,800, so I normally try to buy them at about 1,600, 1,500, just so I can make a little bit of MT. It kind of just really depends, because again, the market is kind of broken at the moment, so you kind of have to somewhat, all right, so as you can see, 1,100 there, which is, we're probably, yep, we <laughs> did manage to get that one. 1,400, did we get this one? Nope, 1,350, probably not, nope. But again, it's a really good filter. We're finding really good cards. We've not managed to pick any of them up, but we are finding a lot of cards. Now, again, you can use this to potentially load your cards into, obviously, the new Galaxy of Eddie Jones. It's in the exchange. I know you need nine of every single Amethyst player. So 
it's definitely a lot of cards to pick up uh, in terms of like that. In terms of the diamonds, I'm sure you could probably do another filter with diamonds, but in terms of like Amethyst, the reason why I chose Amethyst is because because of the volume of these cards that are getting packed, you, you're, you're going to find that there's a lot of cards being packed. Again, as I say, I did a 450k pack opening. Pretty much every single card I got was an Amethyst card because 2k's all suck. But yeah, in terms of, and also like these cards are really good as well. So 1250 there. All right, so we got that one. Another 1250 there. We got that one. 1250 there. Got that one. So again, with these ones, I only have to sell them for 1400 to make 3MT. So I definitely think I can do that. There's one for 1300. We don't manage to get that one. So overall, decent refresh there. Decent refresh. So I believe that was Matt Bonner. So let's go quickly, quickly check Matt Bonner's price to see where he's at. So 1800, there's already none there, which is. Something I'm really liking right now. All right, so looks like we can sell it for about 2K. Again, I'm going to check how many map bonners I need for the exchange. Let me quickly go check. Where is Bobby Jones? Map bonner. All right, we need one. So I'll just chuck my map bonner that I have in there. Actually, mine's the first owner, so we won't do that. So what we'll do, we'll put all of them in the, we'll put all of them in the auction house. And then we'll just list them up real quick. So I think my auction house is probably going to get full. But by the time I can list these up, so we might have to list like two or three at a time. So we'll have to wait and see. So hopefully we got two... Two cards left after this one. So hopefully, as you can see, the servers are being a bit... It's 2k. What do you expect with these servers? So, all right, hopefully... Hey, let's go, man. Let's go. All right, so we have Matt Bonner. Let's quickly go check his price, shall we? So Matt Bonner, Amethyst. And again, with, with me selling these cards, it's basically paid for this Matt Bonner just so I can put him into the, into the set. As you can see, prices at the moment all over the place. So I know I, I know I can realistically sell it for about 2,000 MT. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna chuck one of these in the exchange, uh, into the Bobby Jones exchange. That way my map bonners are completely done. So that is some good stuff right there. And then the rest of these, we're just gonna list up for probably about 2K, 1.9K, kind of just depends. We did pick all of them up for basically 1.9. So we're doing quite decent on that. So again, guys, if, the, if you're contract method, obviously I know you guys, if you guys follow my channel, you know the contract method is a thing. So if you guys are uh, obviously having a bit of an issue with the contract method, just because contracts at the moment are being kind of stingy and uh, not really many people are buying contracts at the moment. And so that's caused the price to basically fluctuate and go down. But we got five map bonners up here. So hopefully they will sell rather quickly. Just we have more space to pick up some cards. And again, you just go back down to Amethyst. What reality? I got about 15, 1600. And then we just go from there. So we'll quickly double check what the cheapest buy now is. None popping up for 1900, which is great. So if a card pops up for 1900 you or if you buy a card for 1900 or try to sell it for 1900 uh, you have to sell it for basically 1700 to make some profit. So not too bad there. So hopefully we can pick up some for 1700 Maybe cheaper. To be fair, if I lower this to 1600 I know basically anything that pops up, I can pick up and make some MT off of. Another map bottle there. Do manage to pick it up. Can we get this precious? We don't we don't manage to get him. I do need a precious, so hopefully we can yeah and they're just gone as you can see very competitive filter but as you can see with the last refresh i just did a lot of map bonners here so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna maybe try to not pick up map bonners just because i don't really need them but at the moment this filter is proven to be very very useful for me i think it's gonna be useful for you guys obviously this method is gonna be quite competitive at the start but i say if you start doing that like tomorrow or something or maybe later on in uh on friday you should be able to get some quite decent success with this method so yeah guys let me know down in the comments what you guys success with current sniping methods is i'm just you know just let me know just let me know i'm always curious if you guys have enjoyed the video of course and you found this helpful and you do manage to get up some of these cards oh we get some decent ones here and we get some preciouses. We do need some preciouses. All right, we eventually get one. We get Isaac Okoro. As you can see, they're gone instantly. 1600. Did we get him? Nope, <laughs> we do not. So it's, uh, yeah, again, a very, very competitive filter. But it is a really good filter. Isaac Okoro, we don't manage to get that one. There's one for a thousand there, which is kind of insane. 1600. All right, we managed to get the 1600. So that one isn't too bad. So we refresh again, and they're all gone. So <laughs> let me just, uh, so I do have precious. So let me just chuck him into the into a um i got an isaac okoro as well oh wow, god damn man that's actually it's actually not too bad to be fair so we'll quickly chuck these into the exchange and i think i'm gonna be done with uh, bobby jones after these i think hopefully anyway hopefully we get uh, bobby jones done so there was a kind of acted up a little bit so all right so yeah there's precious done there's uh so we should be done with bobby jones i think hopefully we're done with Bobby Jones. All right, so that isn't too bad, boys. That isn't too bad. So this, you could say this sniper that got me a free Galaxy Opal, but I think if I put that in the title, people might get mad at me. But yeah, boys, that's it going to be it for the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Again, guys, go out and try this method. Let me know how you guys get on with this method. I'm probably going to sit on this filter for a little bit, but I do have some other videos to record as well. I will be live in about 
but about 9 p.m gmt 4 p.m eastern standard time so if you guys want to obviously pop up by the stream the stream will be live at that time but that's gonna be it. that's gonna do it for the video hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you guys have enjoyed the video please smash a like on the video it does have a ton subscribe to the channel if you are brand new on you as you guys later take care love you all and peace do we get anything to end the video no <laughs> god damn it I want to give a massive shout out to channel members Waze, Hans, Lewis, Wallow, Casey, Magic Magpie, Michael, Mario, Kia, Hammer, Jack, Lindsay, and Josh's mum. Thank you guys so much for all your support.